Whoa! Let's take it back. <laughs> Let's take it back. <laughs> oh man! You know how they say, <laughs> "Leave sleeping dogs is where they lie." Well, at this point, Jay was mad at a lot of people. Okay, when the Black Album was getting ready to come out, Jay was in a transitional period. You know, he was retiring off this album. He was tired of people eating off him that he wasn't cool with no more. And he was ready to step away from the game and part his friends. You know, we did what we did. Now it's time to part his friends. You know, but hey, it is what it is. But then he had beefs that was still, you know, there. Like, the him and Nas weren't getting along. <laughs> they, the beef was still there. Um, he had beef within his own camp that was going on. And then people who were aligned with people he was beefing with, like people cool with Nas, such as Puff. Puff is cool with Nas, and he's cool with Jay, and... You know, this, these type of relationships go either way. And on uh, Lost Tapes, you heard Nas drop uh, some lines on the Lost Tape album about Puff on the Purple songs. About Puffy and Shine. And then, then you hear something like, you know, this. I came into this game one more paper than Puff. Now I realize Puff paper ain't enough. So when Jay dropped that line, Puff was getting tired of having his name thrown around. <laughs> hey, look, y'all niggas better stop playing with me. <laughs> Puff paper ain't enough. I, <laughs> I'm, I can show you. Puff paper is always enough. You don't know puff paper. <laughs> I can show you better than I can tell you. Y'all better stop playing with my name. Take that. Take that. Take that. Yeah. <laughs> so puff called Jay to show you how puff money was. Puff called Jay. And Jay was like, what do you say? How did you get this number? Only three people have this number. Listen, where you at right now? <laughs> Are you in New York? Yeah. I'm coming to get you. You gonna come with me now. So Jay, Diddy, Leo Cohen, um, Kevin Lyles, and uh, forgot, I forgot, I think it was some other guy named, might be Moscow or whatever. They come down there, meet with Puff. Puff was like, oh, so you don't want more money? You want to get more money than Puff? <laughs> oh, Puff money ain't enough. Do you even know how much Puff money is? <laughs> he said, let's show him something. And this is about 10 years ago. I mean, probably longer than that. We talking probably 15 years ago. Puff take him to the strip. It was like, you see that over there? Yeah, that's my plane. <laughs> that's my plane. I own that. When you own a jet, and you ain't got to worry about nothing, <laughs> you got your own plane. I ain't got to book a flight. I, can, I am the flight. 
I fly where I want. That's my pilot. He worked for me. When you own your own plane, then you can say you can, you can puff money ain't enough. <laughs> Don't ever say nothing like that and talk about New York. Leo, you tell this man, <laughs> I got more money than him. This your boss. I got more money than him. <laughs> tell him, Leo. Yeah, he got more money than me. <laughs> Leo, you got to remember this. If Leo there, Leo run YouTube, he'll tell you. Puff had to come there and pull rank. And Jay was like, oh, you know, I'm just, I wasn't dissing you. I'm just saying. <laughs> he was like, nah, I know what you was doing. I know what you was doing. I I ain't slow. <laughs> oh, it wasn't no per, no, it wasn't no striping. No, I wasn't taking a swipe at you. <laughs> He was taking a swipe. <laughs> but Puff had to remind him there's a difference. Y'all better stop playing with his name. He told Nas, where you at right now? Where you drive, pull over. Wherever you at, pull over. <laughs> Don't you move. <laughs> Put my name on a record. Shoot. Did he come see you? Nah. <laughs> you a funny cat. Yeah. <laughs> Word. <laughs> so. Yeah, these are the good old days. Now, at this time... There was a problem. A major problem. Because Jay was uh Jay was in a transitional period. Meaning that Rockefeller was breaking up. And due to the fact that Rockefeller was breaking up. Sorry about that. Due to the fact Rockefeller was breaking up, it led to a lot of distrust, a lot of um, a lot of people being unhappy, and new people coming in. Dame and Jay were in a you know a power struggle at that time. And Jay was trying to tell him in so many shortest, <laughs> short versions of words. Like, I'm trying to let you know, like, I ain't going to be here. So whatever y'all doing, y'all doing, but this ain't going to last. And he let them know in a... You know, some simple words. So, just right there, he was telling y'all in those lyrics. I got Leo Rich, y'all got people fired. He was showing right now his allegiance was with Leo Cohen. That's who he was. He was with Leo. See, I don't know who put the battery in y'all back. And told y'all this and that and went in different directions. Uh, but let's keep it on this level so that you understand. Dame Dash had fired half of the people that worked at Rockefeller. That used to work there. Most of them 
were Jay's people. Once he did that, and Jay wasn't around, and he didn't consult with Jay when he did that, he brought Cam them in, didn't consult with Jay, and made all these different moves while Jay's talking Rockefeller, Rockefeller. Trust was broken beyond comprehension. So when he said, I got Leo Rich, y'all got people fired. That's, that's what the line was about. A lot of people don't understand there was a big mess going on at that time. And because of it, Jay had chose previously, when he had an opportunity to leave, he chose, he chose uh, Dame, he chose Rockefeller, he chose Biggs. He chose all of those guys. Chose them all. And said, I choose you guys. And told them Leor was going to give him the company. It's like, Leor is going to give me the company. And cut you guys out. You know, Leo was talking to Jay and not knowing Jay was going to go back and tell them. So, Damon was upset about the situation with CJ's loyal. And he trying to cut Dame out back then when they did the re-up. So, this is before Blueprint 2. So, after the Blueprint, he was like, "We don't, you don't need Dame Dash. You can get rid of him. And see, that's why Nas knew already because Steve Stout was already working with Jay. He was over there working with Jay-Z at the time. And he was playing both sides of the fence with Nas and Jay and just leaking information because he was trying to replace Dane. So when he, by being there with Jay, like, I'm closer to Jay than Dame is. So he's giving Nas all this information about Dame Dash. And it's like, is he Dame Diddy, Dame Daddy, or Dame Dummy? Oh, I get it. You Biggie and he's Puffy. <laughs> he knew. He was like, if if Dame Dash is doing his job, then what what why does he need uh Steve Stout? <laughs> why does Jay have Steve Stout if Dame's doing his job? See, I mean, a lot of stuff was going on at that time. So I don't know what interview you guys have saw that got you back on this <laughs> on this trail that you were asking me this, these questions. But like I've said, most of this stuff we've covered. But the Puff thing, yeah, it wasn't no real beef with him and Jay. No, never that. Jay just threw that little line and shot at him. So... Uh, yeah, that's just, that's it. <laughs> that's how the cookie crumbles. But I want to say thank you guys out there to the people that supported the page and came up and did their thing. We appreciate the love and support always, man. Uh, don't forget my cash app is Carcino, K-A-R-C-E-N-O. For those who might be new and stumbled in here. And, of course, my super chat is below in the uh, description box. Deuces.